in the kitchen today with my son Fabio and we're going to be making some spooky sausage rolls to celebrate Halloween with. Now first of all, is that you being spooky? Yeah. First of all we need to start by slicing the leek. So he's using a serrated knife and holding it very straight and you're using a sawing action and keeping your fingers well out of the way. Now I'm going to put these in the pan and cook them. In this bowl here, can you please put two tablespoons of sesame seeds? Same. Now it's time to add the sausage meat. Right, in it goes. Okay. Just now, use a spoon to get it in. Really mash it together then. Are you ready for me to add the leeks? Yeah, I'm ready. If you just step away because the pan is very hot, in they go. Good mixing now, please. You need to use some muscle power. Okay, I think that's probably ready, don't you? Is it time to get our pastry out? Yeah. Okay, let's put that here. Now we have got a packet of ready rolled. It's got two sheets in, so we're going to have one each. Um, and this is frozen and we've let it thaw. So there's yours. Open it out so you get a nice long sheet. And then using the tip of your knife, just the very tip, we're going to cut into two even strips. And holding your knife quite high, try and do a straight line. Good. Now here's the sausage meat. So we're going to need to use a quarter each because we've got four strips. So here's about Fine. a quarter for you. If you can spread it out just along the length of the pastry. That's it. Remember to spread it right to the very ends. I'm just going to dampen your brush. If you can run that along the top edge of your pastry. And then from the bottom, we're rolling up. So almost cover, try and cover the meat. That's it. And you want the join on the bottom, don't you? OK. So from this point, I think we need to put a little bit of flour on. With our knives, we're going to try and get four sausage rolls. So cut it in half and then each half into half again. These are quite fun to make. They are, but the fun bit starts now, doesn't it? It's time to decorate them. You take one. Yeah. You get the top part and you squeeze it together so you can't see the meat inside. And that sort of forms the head of the ghost, doesn't it? Then you decide what you want to do for a bottom. You can do either wobbly lines mm -hmm. or curvy lines. I'm doing little zigzags for mine to make it look like a spooky shape at the bottom. So am I. And then you squeeze the middle a bit to give it a sort of ghosty shape. I think we need eyes. Yes. I have got some chopped olives and some chopped red pepper. Make little holes like that. And then what colour are you going to go for? I'm going to go for red. And then when you've got your little ghosty, we've got a lime tray here. We're just going to sit them on. Is he done? Yep. Wow, that's really a really scary one. I can't really reach up. <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> that is a terrifying ghosty. Look at that one. Okay. Ooh. Look at mine. <laughs> That's good. I haven't even done one. <laughs> the only thing to do now is to brush them with a bit of egg and milk and uh, cook them for 20 minutes. Let's go and wash our hands now. Come on. So we think our sausage spooks are probably ready now. Shall we have a look? They've been in for about 20 minutes. They have. And, and how do they look? Wow. Let's pop them there. They smell even... good. OK. Now, what we need to do is we need to let them cool a little bit because they're very hot. And so, there we are. It's our lovely selection of spooky sausage rolls just right for Halloween.